know, so it holds even on the gravel pretty good, I'd say. Ah, it's quite good, isn't it? Quite impressive. I walk around without tripping over a rock. You wouldn't believe I couldn't see this rock, would you? <laughs> that is holding there really nicely, actually. So, let's try it somewhere else. It's quite an impressive little system. I wonder if it gets interfered. Doesn't seem to change it at all. I'm not touching anything here, so. I even walk in under the optical flow. Tell you what, it's cold first thing in the morning up in the highlands. Whoa! Oh, I don't know why I'm there. I just pulled the throttle just a tiny bit. Really? Well, that shouldn't have been. Let's go hold. Yeah, let's try that again. I think it's actually cracked the. There's a crack actually there. I don't know if that was that or whether or not. We did have a bit of an incident in the motor the other day. I hope it doesn't do that over the water, otherwise it could be well. So. Now what I was interested in is how it will cope over the water. <laughs> Hoping it won't drop out into the water. Well, we've definitely got a cut out there. I'm not touching anything there. That's just... Mm, no idea at all about that one. Let's put it over the water and see how we get on. Yeah, it's struggling there. Yeah, there it's fine. Oh no, it's still holding. Mind you, it's creating its own little wave there, so that's, that's okay, I guess. Ah, uh, it's drifting slightly. Yeah, it's really struggling with that water. Ah, oh, not really. That's quite impressive. It really does stop as well, so let me just show you that. So it just literally pitches back up and sits in its position. It's quite impressive. So probably too high to position hold there. Yeah, it certainly is. <laughs> and then there it should hold position. Really impressive, actually. That optical flow is pretty good, I'd say. Even over the water, it's still doing it. And I can prove it's over the water because it's throwing a ripple there. Oh dear. <laughs> it's got a thing where it just cuts out. I think that just might be something wrong with my one. This is a good, good way of drying your quad this. That's weird, isn't it? I'm going to try that there again. So just pull it down gently. No, it didn't do it that time. Yeah, there's that crack. I, I don't know if that was just the way it caught that rock earlier. Not... Whoa! <laughs> now that might be still in water over there. <laughs> oh no, perfectly fine. Oh, I landed that way up so it doesn't damage the, uh, what's the name? Ah, there we go, yeah, look. That's shattered that, yeah. I think that's what it was, yeah, it was loose. It had come loose in there. Ah, there we go, see? Oh, well, I haven't opened it up yet and had a look inside, so. There's your opportunity. So, yeah, I reckon that was, uh, something was a little bit loose in there. But, uh, oh, well, we'll get that part and have a look at it later, eh? I'm almost wondering whether that, where it flipped over that time, whether that was fatigue um, and it had just literally, that wrenched off because I wasn't turning or banking or anything, so that's okay. Well, I've never had a, a tricopter, so there we go. It's quite handy, this one, because you carry an extra arm and a prop with it as well. Mm -hmm.